In this video, we'll discuss how to grow your YouTube channel from zero. We'll provide five critical steps you should take before you ever record a second of video. Hello everyone, I'm Eric Lee from the Fantasy Football Consultants and welcome to the third in a 10-part YouTube Creator Masterclass series. Links to all the classes in this free series as well as my YouTube bio are located in the description. Newsflash, YouTube is a business and they're in it to make money. And they make money when they can get viewers to stay on their platform and watch ads. So they're much more likely to publicize channels with a track record of keeping viewers on their platform, which is most likely larger channels. This often makes smaller channels very frustrated and angry at YouTube. Okay, smaller channels shouldn't just get angry. They have to learn to work harder and smarter. In this video, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Now, the good news is there are a ton of information out there about how to be successful on YouTube. The bad news is there's a ton of information out there on how to be successful at YouTube. Now, even if all the information out there was correct, which it isn't, there's still a problem. Because there's so much information, a lot of new YouTubers either find themselves doing so many things and spreading themselves thin, they can't do any group of things really well. Or they try to focus on a few things, but they're not focusing on the right things at the very beginning. The first tip when you're starting a YouTube channel from scratch, know your niche inside and out. How do you do that? Well, watch established channels in your niche and you can find that by going to youtube.com and searching with your keyword. Our example would be fantasy football for our channel. And then click the filter button and then under type, choose channel. And you can see all the channels in your niche and then go on to one of those, uh, to many of those channels and check out their videos. You can sort by oldest videos in order to see the progression of the channel or newest videos to see what they've done lately or by popularity to see which of their videos have garnered the largest audience. And when you're watching the content in all these different videos and all these different channels in your niche, I want you to take detailed notes about what you liked and what you didn't like. For example, what were the topic and ideas that really resonated that you might want to do videos on? What about their style and the format on the show? How about the technical aspects like camera angle and positioning and lighting and audio? Uh, how was their intro and outro? Did you ever want to click away? Note why. How did they lose your attention? The second tip is to plan out your video topics. So you already have some video topics from tip one. I want you to add to that by going to Google and searching keywords in your niche to see if you can find articles online relation to topics you could potentially make a video about. Who knows, maybe there isn't a YouTube video yet on that topic. And for additional ideas, you can go to Google and use the autocomplete function to find out what people are searching for. Simply enter a keyword and see what Google pops in for additional words. And then you're going to logically order all these topics for what you're going to record first. Now, I can't emphasize this enough. It's really important early on in your process to make sure you take chances and record on as many different variety of topics as possible, see how they do, and then you can figure later on which ones you wanna concentrate on based on what resonated with your YouTube audience. Tip three is to schedule a consistent time for your channel. Now, if you really wanna grow on YouTube, you've gotta treat it like a business and not a hobby. A hobby is something you just get to when you otherwise are available. For a business, you need to commit to blocking out set times and days for your channel to do three important things. One, preparation. You need to plan out video topics as well as outlines for specific shows. Two, filming, so recording your videos. And three, post-production, which is all your editing, your optimizing your videos, and your thumbnail work. The fourth tip is to make sure you have quality audio. 
YouTube viewers have no patience for low quality audio. So my suggestion is actually record your video and then compare your audio with the audio of other channels in your niche. Now, full disclosure, audio is something that the fantasy football consultants really struggled with in their uh, first year. We were filming in a, uh, a room with really bad acoustics and there was an echo. So since uh, I've changed my room in which I do my recording and I bought a real high quality microphone, before we get to the fifth and last tip, which is a really important one, please go into the YouTube comment section and tell us what your niche is and at least one video topic idea that you want to do a video about. Do me a favor and click that like button followed by the red subscriber button if you've gotten some value out of the material so far. Tip number five is upload a great YouTube profile picture. Now, if you don't upload a picture, YouTube is just gonna use a single letter, which is the first letter of your YouTube channel name. It looks awful, it looks unprofessional. Um, just make sure you have a nice logo. If it is a personal brand, you can use a headshot picture. FFC uses the logo. Keep in mind that the profile picture is really small. So any lettering that you want to be read, make sure it's big enough to actually uh, be read and watch out that they use a circle crop and make sure nothing is cut off. Now your profile picture should be instantly recognizable because basically it appears everywhere on YouTube. It's on your channel homepage, it's in the search results, the community tab, and most importantly, it goes on the video comments. Not only when you make comments on your own channel, but when you make comments on other people's channel, which by the way, I want you to do as a part of tip one, when you're looking at all these different channels and taking notes, you know, engage in the uh, comment section on those other videos, not spamming them about your channel, just talking about the content, asking questions, um, get your, your name out there in your community. Um, by the way, the profile picture that you're using should be the same profile on all your social media platforms like Twitter or Facebook when down the road you establish uh, accounts on those. Um, it's really important, this concept of branding. Wherever you can brand yourself is great for your channel. Let me take a moment. Let me, uh, you know, sip something here. Like I said, branding's important. All right, this sets the foundation, these five tips, the foundation for uh, our future tips to reach 100 subs. So that is the next video in the series. You can click on that right now. I do suggest if you did not see the video on YouTube channel name tips and you have any doubt about whether you are using the best name for your channel, you might wanna click on that video. Take care everybody and I'll see you in the next video.